Boom. Hello everyone. Okay, I think I'm recording. Covered in dog ears. To apologise, I've had um, Rocky out and he's just sitting on his bed right now. Uh, but I think he wants to see the rats and I've set up the camera near the cage. Um, see what's going on. Rocky, on your bed. On your bed. He just creeps off. He knows I'm talking to someone. He's a nosy boy. Let's open the rats up. Not sure how well you can see this or how well it will show up when I actually upload it, but I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, see who's awake. Come on. Hello. So here's Betty. Face to the door. Tiny up top here. Hello, Tiny. Hello, Tiny. Hello. And Leche should be in here as well somewhere. She's the white rat. Ah, uh, boo. It's a little bit... Hmm. Maybe that's a bit better. Okay. So normally what I do when I open the rat cage, you know, if I'm going to get the rats out, or feed them, change the food, the water, um. Yeah, I literally come up to them, open the cage, say hello, put my hand here, uh, then I'll go in, do well what I need to do, change the foods, um, and if I'm not going to get them out, then simply just close, close the cage back up. This does open from the top as well, but I don't like opening it from the top. Uh, if you go in from the top, just as a rule really with new rats, these wouldn't mind, but as a rule with new rats, uh, going in from the top isn't a good idea, you know, they get freaked out, uh, it can scare them, so always like, try, try and get them at eye level if you can, come down to their level, and uh, you know, they're more inclined to come out right onto your hands, I'm going to try and do that now for you, you know, always just get down on my knee, I've got a chair here now, but just get down on my knee, and it only takes, you know, a few minutes, them to climb up. It's not it, you just gotta be a little bit patient, but yeah, there's Betty. Betty's got up. Come on in. It's time you forgot. I don't like getting in the way of, the, of your shot, I'm not sure if I'm in your way when I'm looking at the rats, but I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll just keep filming and hope for the best, see what happens. So, when I first started doing this with the rats, um, you know, it takes a little bit longer for, for them to, to, to trust you completely and get on your arm. But that's that's how you want to get them out, really. You don't have to pick them up. Um, you don't have to go in the cage at all, really, you know, to grab them. That's that's the last thing you want to do. Uh, so just entice them out little by little, and it won't take long. You know, they're very playful, they're very inquisitive, and very uh, curious. So they'll, they'll come out eventually, and especially if you've got some treats in your hands. Uh, you know, if I had a treat in my hand right now, it, it, it'd be gone. They would have whipped it away. Uh, or I would have been able to tempt them straight out. But because I'm in no rush, I'll just sit here and I'm happy to let them just crawl on me. Now, if you try to climb up the side of the cage or go any other way, that's that's when you want to discourage, you know, discourage them from doing that. And you notice that was a little bit late there and she managed to get up. Now, in that case, I'll just show you again. If she climb up. In that case, if they do grab on, stop them at the front, scoop them from underneath, and go forward rather than drag them back. Don't try and drag them back. They'll hang on to the cage and they'll most likely hurt their fingers. They'll most likely hurt their paws. Um, so. And she's enjoyed that, she's having a little skip around. <laughs> it's funny, they kind of enjoy being uh, told off, in a way. Not told off, but like, corrected. They enjoy being corrected. And um, get a little buzz out of it, you know, do, do, do a rep repetition, you know. And she knows she's got to come onto my arm. Come on. Betty. Betty. You know, and if it takes ten minutes, takes half an hour, takes an hour, that's fine by me, that's uh, that's because I've got lots of patience for my rats and 
uh, you know, you should you should have the same. You know, you gotta be really patient with these animals. They can be skittish, they can be cautious. Um, but yeah, they, these are really friendly, and I get them out maybe twice a week now. Uh, I used to get them out every day, every day, t two or three times every day. The free roam, either in one of the rooms, or just literally around the house, or in 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 the living room with me on the sofa. Um, you know, two, three times a day, that, that was their routine, but I've had to slow that down and keep them in their cage a little bit more, only because I've got a dog, and you just can't mix the two too often, you know, it's just not a, it's not viable. But they are interacting, if you've seen any of the previous videos, then uh, you'll know I've been introducing the rats to the dog, and um, it's going really well, you know, he's so good. He's over there on his bed now, whinging a little bit, because he wants to come and see. Might invite him over. Rocky. Rocky, come. Come see. Yeah. Jump up. Yeah. He's been really polite. So he's he's sitting down by the cage. He's just looking at the moment. He loves watching him. It's like a cat watching a goldfish bowl. Um, and it looks like, you know, he's just he's, he's curious about them. And he, he likes the way they move, the movements and all that. And I'm pretty sure it's not predatory. Um, he's just more interested in maybe playing or interacting with them. He loves them, he really does. It's so remarkable. So remarkable, I'm really impressed with Rocky. Let me try and get him down again, because there's Betty. Betty, come on. It's only gonna come out to a Betty. I don't know where Lecce is, she's uh, fast asleep by the looks of it. You know. Sometimes I have to go in there and like, wake Lecce up to, to let her know that I'm here because she goes in such a deep sleep. Um, but as soon as she does wake up, she's like, ooh, what's going on? Where, where do you want me? Come on, Tiny. Hello, Tiny. Do you want to hop up and see? I'm letting you, I'm letting you, be nice, nice, nicely, I'm letting you, good boy, you know to leave them alone, don't you, eh, not going to hurt them, are you, now, I wouldn't do this with any dog, or any rat, you know, I'd have to know them deeply, and uh, <laughs> even now, you know, I'm a little bit, Ooh, cautious, so I'm gonna have to watch him. I, every time I turn away, he seems, but that's a playful behaviour. He's going for the cage, <laughs> but that's a playful behaviour. He's actually playing with them, uh, but you can't do that because he might frighten them. But um, it's more, it's better to get them out like uh, out of the cage and interact with them than it is in the cage. I'd say this is a bit like for them anyway, because I've noticed when they're out. Of the cage, uh, he's much more well behaved, he's much more uh, timid and willing to lay down and let them come to him. Whereas now he's like, he's in their face, you know. I, I've done that just to see how he reacts, but um, I don't think I'd do this often again, really. Now you get down, sit, good boy. So he does do is he's told, you know, it's not like he's out of control. But, you know, if he was to playfully headbutt the cage, because that's what he's doing. I think he's like, you know, dogs do this to each other. Um, and, like, square off, but fake squaring off type of thing. And then it's playful behaviour, I'm quite sure. But um, that could very well hurt the rats by, by accident. He wouldn't know that. So I won't encourage that. Uh, but it was good. It's it's a good demonstration just to show the control. Not only the control I've got on him, but his self control as well uh, to hold himself back because that is just ultimate temptation to a terrier. Seeing a little furry animal in a cage right in front of him that is too easy, you know. But. Uh, yeah, he's done really well. He's done really well. And if he did show any aggressive behaviour, I'd be straight there uh, chastising him. He mustn't do that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be very happy at all. He'd be, be on his bed. He'd be staying on his bed then. 
Aye, but no, he's good. So we do this little and often. Uh, but it doesn't look like the rats are too interested in um, coming out right now, and I think it's probably because of him. So I might just pause here. I go and grab some treats. Be back in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, that should be an instantaneous boop. You wouldn't even know I've been gone, would you? So, I've just been over to the freezer really. Got some frozen peas out. That's their favourite. I think they know I've got them. Come on over. Let's see if we can get comfy. Hello, girls. Being good? Come on then. Take it. Take it. That's it. That's it. Come on, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, yeah, it's going a bit slow. That's fine, this is what you should do. A little, uh, just a little bit at a time. Don't make them do anything you don't want to do. Well, uh, they know I've got peas now. Give them a pea. Oh. Bit more inclined to do what you say. Gonna see if I turn round, maybe that'll maybe that'll be better, I'm not sure. Come on then. I'm gonna wake Lecce up as well actually, I'm just gonna stand up. Hey Lecce. Hey Lecce. She's just in this um hammock. <laughs> Give her a pee. So that should wake her up. And there's Betty. She's gonna come out. 